Okay guys, so this is our 8 PHP and MySQL tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about switch statement. Basically, switch statement is an alternative of if and else if statements. So to make our code more shorter and more com uh, less complex because of the complexity of the multiple if and else if statements. So we use the switch statement to reduce that complexity and to increase the performance of our server. So uh, in this case, we use the switch statement. For example, we have a situation here that the value of our color variable could be white or it could be black or it could be red but if all these three options are not true then the value of the color is brown yes that is a definite situation if all these three options are not true it is definitely brown so you can say that we will use, we can use the if condition then again else if again else if and else here Yes, we can do this in the if and else if, but to reduce the complexity and to increase the performance, for example, if we have multiple conditions, so we can reduce the load on our server as well by using the switch statement. So that is why we need to learn switch statement. Switch statement is basically an alternative of if and else if conditions. So now let's start. We have a color variable here, so we will use first of all switch keyword itself then two smaller parentheses then the body of switch statement here as we you know type the condition for the if between these small parentheses but in the case of switch statement we actually type the variable itself or you can type the value itself for example if it is a digit or it's a string value you can type it in, in this case we have already stored the, our value into the color so basically we are providing the value of color variable here for the switch statement to actually compare and in the body of this for each of the possibility we use the case keyword then space and then the value to which we need to compare for example if we want to compare here red then the column sign here and we type the echo color is red so semicolon and then the break keyword so now I will tell you that this case will work like if statement basically what it is doing that it's it get the value of the color variable and it's comparing the value of this variable with this string that we have provided so if the both are same it will execute this statement and break as well so what this break does I will explain it later if I you know when I will use more and for example in this case it could be red yeah. just make more more print case condition and now let's change the value from red to black and the black is here so again could be white and it display that color is white so they work like if else if and else if but for just the else statement we use another default and there will be semicolon here default will actually do that if all the upper cases are not true then it will automatically comes into the default and print whatever it is in this one so in this case color is brown and we do not need to put any break side break here what the break does basically when this case will be true and it executes the echo statement here the break will break this you know this switch statement will take the control out of this switch statement so the others statement do not need to be true in this case because only one option can be true from these options so that is why we use the break so for example now let's test this one save it go to browser refresh the page it's saying that color is red for example now let's change the color variable from red 
to white go to a browser object at a string like so for example i type again a, a different value y double l o w yellow now let's save this one and go to our web browser and in this case let's check it here refresh the page and it's saying that the color is brown again comes into our text editor and now let's remove this break statement so that you guys can understand that why it is necessary or what is its you know the real work that it does let's refresh the page actually the value is brown as yellow here now let's make it red so we will have a look at it refresh the page here you can see this color is red color is black color is white color is brown so what's it's basically doing it checks the first case it is true it executed this echo statement and all the echo statement within this code within this the body of the switch statement why because it's working that like that if there is only one condition and it will automatically execute each and every statement within the switch statement that is why we need to break the switch statement after the you know our desired statement to be executed so now the break symbol will take the control actually it will tell the tell the server that after executing this echo statement you do not need to perform any more execution within this body of switch statement just comes out of it and do anything else i am done with it so that is the purpose now let's refresh the page and you can see this here yellow and it's printing the brown so this is the purpose of the break to put a break there if the one case is true it will put break and no more execution of the others unnecessary or undesired statement so that is the purpose of switch statement i think you guys might have a good idea just do it practically one time and you will you will even go further within this so if you have any question ask me on my social page or my website or you can just leave a comment below this video and i will definitely reach up to your question and answer it so take care of yourself and goodbye guys follow us on youtube facebook twitter google plus visit our website www.sartreviews.com and then go to learn section from menu don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more